Hey everybody, welcome back. I already applied my Skin Food Red Orange Jelly BB Cream in number one light beige. And on top, I used my Etude House BB Magic Pact in number one light beige as well. I filled in my brows using my Misha Automatic Eyebrow Pen Pencil in light brown. Taking some Urban Decay Primer Potion, I'm going to put this all over my lids. Just using my fingers and applying it right on the lids, inner corners, and even the brow bone as well. Do the same to the other side, like that. Now taking any uh, neutral toned uh, shimmery eyeshadow, such as my NYX Yogurt, this has a very pinkish champagne undertone. I'm going to glide it on. Very simple and easy. And this gives a really nice glowing base to our lids. And that's all we're going to be doing. Just going from the inner corner and extending it out right below our brow bone. like that. So the main focus of today's tutorial are definitely concentrated on the eyeliner effect. I'm using my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in black. We'll also be needing um, two kinds of uh, eyeliner applicator. This one is your regular old um, small um, brush. It looks like it's a lip brush actually, but I like the fact that it's tapered at the ends, but the bristles are flatter at the surface. So I could apply or pack on more of this gel eyeliner on my lids. And in the end, I will be using my Sonia Kashuk angled eyeliner brush to do a more refined finish. Also gonna be using a lot of my Neutrogena um, makeup remover towelette because I'm gonna be fixing up the edges using this. So let's get started. So taking this brush, I'm gonna pack some on the top like that. Well, I am just applying it as close to the lash line as possible, extending it out. And I'm extending it out slightly like this. And I'm creating a wing from below, like that, and filling in the gap. All you want to do here is now from the midpoint, pack it on, pack more of the eyeliner on, making it thick. And at the end, we're going to elongate our wing a little bit more this time and meeting it from the bottom like that I'm going to go back and make it thicker at the top and keep opening your eyes every once in a while to see how it looks when your eyes are open now when I smile you see that the wing is kind of tapered downwards. We want it to flick up from here on. So I'm going to smile. And from here, I'm going to pick a point. I'm going to extend it out. And bring it in. Like that. And you see now that it looks like there's a dip. So I'm going to get rid of the harsh dip line by going from the end of the wing and filling the top like this. So this is all about building the liner. We don't want a harsh dip in there. More like that. This definitely has a more 
a disco-y vibe like from the Hoot music video. So that's the dramatic eyeliner. Now taking my towelette, it's a makeup remover, I'm going to put it over my index finger like this. Now going back to our eyeliner, you see how it comes down very thick. The wing is very thick. So I'm going to start from the end and kind of smudge it in. Leaving the top end out, just the mid part. But we're not going to go all the way in. We just want the top part extended out a little more and the inner part slightly in to show a contrast of the lines and this makes it a lot more fiercer <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a little more and just from the middle I am just lightly dabbing it in and the top here should be elongated out so this is what it should look like in the end. Now I'm going to do the same for the other eye. So this is what the eyeliner effect looks like now. Taking my Sonia Kashuk angled brush, I'm just going to take whatever we have from this side and bring it down. And with my towelette, I'm going to smudge it inward. So for this eye, I am bringing it down again to the lower lash line like this. It doesn't have to be too precise. You can be as messy as you want with this because you have your little towelette. On the ends to maybe probably the mid portion of our lower lash line, we're just making it very darker at the ends. Um, the whole effect should look like it's smoldering at the bottom. I'm taking more shimmers by Stilla Smudge Pot in Kitten. Take a little dab. This is just gonna re-highlight the top part of our um, NYX um, yogurt that we applied earlier and then just putting it right on top and that's all we're doing just making it really really shiny like that it's a subtle difference doing it to the other eye and you don't need anything but just a finger, a clean finger, to apply this on our lids. Now for our tear duct sparkles, I'm using my Etude House Oh My Eyeliner in Silver Pearl. And I am just dabbing this right in the inner corners, extending it out. And if you really want to use this look for Halloween or a nighttime look even, just really be, you can really put a lot of this um, shimmery glaze at the bottom. Now for the lashes, I am going to be coating my top lashes and my bottom lashes using my Lancome Hypnos Mascara. So this is what it should look like now. Fake eyelashes are very optional at this point. Um, I'm taking this to a more dramatic level of the entire look. So I took a pair of false lashes and the lashes are very, very full and um, compact. I'm going to put this right on top. The sun came back out <laughs> as I was putting on my lashes. So these are 
my finished eyes, everybody. Very, very dramatic. Jessica has peach cheeks, so I'm using my Nature Republic um, Smile Pop Blusher. Looks like that. And I'm just going to put this on the apples of my cheeks. I'm just using my fingers to blend it all out. This is optional as well. I'm using my Etude House Face Designing Brightener to contour my nose. So I'm just going to go right down my nose line and just lightly shadow it in. And to finish off the makeup, I'm using my Palladio lipstick in Petal Pink. Very, very bold eyes, uh, peach cheeks, and baby pink lips. I have this wig here. Hey guys, so this is the finished outfit. Um, as you can see, I have my little short wig that completes the entire look with a hairband. I chose a pink hairband because my entire outfit is kept very, um, very basic. Um, the top is a basic H&M uh, tank top and the bottom are Forever 21 black shorts. And they also wear thigh-high boots, and I have these. Um, I got this last year from Urban Outfitters, and it's in a very light, um, light leather, light beige leather. So that's the entire look and outfit. And you can definitely um, do this for Halloween if you um, want to put together anything that you have in your wardrobe and put it together as a costume. So this is my first Halloween, sort of Halloween tutorial. You could go both ways with it. And that's So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial today. Um, it's the first of many makeup tutorials that I will be showing you and some of them are really going to be out there, bold, and very different from what I have been usually doing since it's Halloween. And I wanted to show more versatility in my looks. And before I end this video today, I wanted to share with you an announcement of Beautify Me. She's another Korean makeup guru here on YouTube, Angel Ani and I have been thinking of collaborating um, in one way. And we both love to sing, we always sing, and um, we just thought it would be fun to make another channel where we just have fun, um, sing a little bit here and there, music covers. And so I introduced to you our um, baby channel. It's called The Angelic Blues. Um, the channel is in my other channel's description box. So we just put out one music cover out. I hope you enjoy it. Um, go check it out if you want to listen to us having fun. And yeah, that is pretty much it. And we really had so much fun um, making the cover, um, our first cover. So we'll be making a lot more. Um, and I'm a horrible singer, but we're, we're just really, it's all about having fun and doing something that we could do together and share with you guys. So I hope you check it out. We're called The Angelic Blues. And thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.